U.S. is facing grave risks in the wake of rising global geopolitical tensions. J.P. Morgan Boss. The U.S. is facing grave risks in the wake of rising global geopolitical tensions and the nation's domestic political polarization. Jamie Dimon, J.P. Morgan Chase chief executive, has warned. In an annual shareholder letter to the CEO of the largest U.S. bank, cited large amounts of government spending and efforts by the Federal Reserve to shrink its balance sheet, as well as the Ukraine conflict and the Israel-Hamas war as creating an environment that may very well be creating risks that could eclipse anything since World War II. America's global leadership role is being challenged outside by other nations and inside by our polarized electorate. Dimon wrote, We need to find ways to put aside our differences and work in partnership with other Western nations in the name of democracy. During this time of great crisis, uniting to protect our essential freedoms, including free enterprise, is paramount, the chief executive urged. The 68-year-old banker added that there is a growing need for increased spending as we continue transitioning to a greener economy, restructuring global supply chains, boosting military expenditure and battling rising healthcare costs. Dimon said he was not as optimistic as the broader market that the US economy will achieve a soft landing in which it sees modest growth and declining inflation rates. Chances of a soft landing are a lot less than the 70% to 80% expected by some investors, he said. These significant and somewhat unprecedented forces cause us to remain cautious. The J.P. Morgan boss concluded. Meanwhile, Dimon said China has been establishing itself as a potential superpower and strategically focusing on its economic security while the West slept. Units of the invading Russian army have increased their attacks in the direction of the city of Chesavyar, Donetsk region. The invaders who want to capture the city use armored combat vehicles and aviation. The goal is to completely destroy and occupy the city. In the frames distributed on Telegram channels, it can be seen that a large part of the city has been destroyed. Russian soldiers approaching Chesavyar are said to have already occupied some houses, Ukrainian fighters are trying to prevent advancing vehicles and infantry with artillery, IT should be noted that the Russian army's attacks in Donetsk region have intensified in recent days. Attacks of the invading army in the direction of Tonenk village near Avdiivka city and near Novomikhailovka village were prevented. A large number of combat equipment and manpower of the invaders were destroyed.